but this is the first meat stuff from. Mm. We've just found this place here and they've got tasting of traditional Polish vodka. Oh my gosh, that smells so fresh. Look at this donut. Oh wow. Holy smoke. Germany, but I've never tried it here in Poland. It's actually massive. Like look at the size of that. I think that might be the nicest sausage I've ever had. What do you recommend? The uh, pork fat is very good. Oh, the salt's really interesting. Oh, you're... Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> so good! Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I might try that. Ooh. Oh my gosh, the hot inside as well. That is absolutely delicious. guys, from Krakow in Poland. So in this vlog, we're gonna go back into Krakow and explore the town, but we're gonna be focusing the next 36 hours on trying as much Polish food as possible. So if you watched my last videos, you will know we've already tried a few bits. Uh, we tried borscht on our first day, which is like this beetroot soup. We also tried Russian dumplings as well, which were kind of like pierogi. So we're gonna be walking around, looking at some traditional Polish restaurants and trying some of the Polish cuisine. First of all, we want to get some breakfast, so let's head off, shall we? Kids. We're just in the middle of all the birds. <laughs> the kids just like running around with his little dinosaur hat on. Look at all these birds. They're just all chilling here. They're really big and chunky as well, but very well fed. Unless they're just like that because they're cold. Really cool coffee bar called Skinny Cream. It looks super trendy and it says Insta Worthy Lattes, and they're not wrong. I got this pistachio green latte. Matthew got a normal latte. It is pretty pricey. It's four pound each, so this ended up being about eight pound or seven pound eighty nine. So quite pricey, but definitely worth it for just the vibe. So we're starting our day of coffee, and then we're going to move on to get some food. But the ambiance in here is so nice. I want my house decorated like this. Cheers, everyone. Oh, and that's Sarah. Maybe that aesthetic green latte wasn't a good idea because Matthew just said that I've got like bright green lips and a tongue. <gasps> oh! I was about to say it's not bright green, but the tongue is bright green. Oh my bright gosh, green. that wasn't a good idea. Just walking down the street, there's a beautiful little church here. Ooh, let's have a look down the side street. There's also this cool shop called Camelot. Oh, it looks like a cafe or a restaurant. Check this out. It looks so cool here. I love all the Christmas trees they've got. How nice is this? It looks so romantic. It's so nice here. I think we're going to go into this Cafe Camelot because it looks so cool. Whoa, oh, there's a curtain. What the heck? Oh my god, this is so cool. Wow, what the heck? Oh wow. It is so cool in here. This is such a cool cafe. Literally, all these vlogs have just been like me being overwhelmed by the cafe and bar culture here. There's so many unique and cool places serving nice food and drink and cocktails. Honestly, if you like that sort of stuff, this is the place to be. This is so cool in here. We really like this pink room. Look at this, like 1920s, I think, like style menu. Oh my gosh, it's like an art piece in itself. So we've just got our first pierogi. Uh, since we, actually, we had the potato pierogi, but this is the first meat stuffed pierogi. It looks like it's got a nice golden uh, crisp on it where it looks like it's fried. It also looks like it comes with some sort of beetroot like compote or something or like sauce, but I'm just gonna try it without it first. It's really, really packed full of meat. 
So wholesome and warm in. I don't know what it is about pierogies, but the starchy goodness, and these are really stuck with me. I'm gonna try the, I'm guessing it's beetroot because it's bright purple. Um, sauce and see what that tastes like as well. That beetroot is really like kind of tangy and it offsets against the saltiness of the beef and it tastes absolutely delicious. This is the best pierogi I've actually tried since being in Poland. So nice. Very, very cool. Definitely would recommend there for the atmosphere. Also delicious pierogies. Anyway, we're going to walk around the streets. Oh, even the back looks really cool. <laughs> it's so cool here, I love it. Anyway, let's walk around and try some more food. We've just found this place here and they've got tasting of traditional Polish vodka. So let's try that. Oh, they also have one, uh, mulled wine. Nice. Oh my gosh, look at all these. Four shots for 20 milliliters. We've got caramel ones. What other flavors have they got? Look at all these. Chocolate. We've got coffee, salted caramel vodka, lemon and honey, and cherry. So let's try it. This is the coffee one. I'm not gonna do the whole shot. <laughs> I'll be absolutely wrecked. Mmm, that coffee one tastes like chocolate a little bit. Yeah. That's for actually really nice. Try this back in. That's the coffee one. And that's actually delicious. I actually want some. We've got salted caramel. Oh, these are really nice. Salted caramel is really strong, but really, really good. Lemon and honey. Oh, it smells really zesty. That reminds me of lemon sip cough, cough syrup. Oh, that's really like syrupy. <laughs> it's like cough syrup, that one. And then last but not least, we've got cherry. My favourite one was the coffee and the salted caramel. You could drink that straight on ice, don't you think? Cheers. Cheers. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cool. No, that is nice, actually. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. But do you think, Matthew, which one's your favourite? The coffee and the salted caramel are the easiest to drink by themselves. But yeah. It's going to have them as mixed drinks, and have those two. You'd have the cherry and the lemon. Yeah. Who's drinking the rest? I got one more. I got coffee with milk. Whoa. I actually prefer the coffee without the milk one in. Don't like that one. Seeing these Polish donuts around everywhere, look at this shop. It says it through this little hatch and it's all these traditional donuts. Oh my goodness, look at these. You can see her in the window making the fresh donuts now. And then the fresh donuts go on to this uh, shelf here. Oh my gosh, that smells so fresh. Oh, look at this donut. It's so squishy. It's like rose flavoured jam in the centre, so it's like fragrant jam. It's so light as well, it's not really dense and thick, it's really light. Mmm, that is delicious, what the heck. So we've been seeing these stalls all around, like all dotted around Krakow, like literally selling these pretzels. They have different types, they have ones with like uh, sesame seeds on, but I got this one with cheese on. Mm, it smells really really nice and cheesy and it's like a dense pretzel bread. I think it's going to be basic. It didn't come with any dips or anything, like 50p, so really cheap. Mmm, oh. mm. it's just like bread. It's like a, a doughy pretzel bread, just as you imagine with dried cheese on top and stuff. Personally, I feel like it needs like butter or something to dip in, but for 50p, it can't go wrong. That just scared the life out of me. I thought it was a real thing. I literally thought someone was taking a ball boy. This street is so beautiful, but we've just noticed the cross that it looks like a traditional pierogi place. Um, and I think we're going to try it. Oh, wow. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. Whoa, that looks cool. So we've got two traditional dishes. One is, is it hunter's stew, Dean, was it? Yeah. Hunter's stew, which is like this meat and maybe cabbage in there. Massive piece of bread. It came with this little bread lid. 
like this, which is really cool. And then the next thing we've got is this stuffed cabbage here in like a tomato, it looks like tomato soup to be honest, but it's like in a tomato sauce. So I'm gonna chuck into this. I'm gonna try the hunter stew first, see what that's like. Mmm, oh that's really nice. It's kind of sour. It's got chunks of meat inside as well and cabbage. I bet that's really nice on the winter so that. I like that. Oh, it's really soft. Oh, look at that inside. It looks like rice. Rice and meat. It smells like corned beef again. It tastes like tomato soup. That's so weird. That's nice too. It's like, it tastes like corned beef again. I don't know what it is, but it's not the same texture as corned beef, but it tastes similar to the texture in the pierogi we tried but it's got bits of rice in as well. And then tomato soup is the tangy bit that offsets the saltiness of the meat again. Mmm, it's an absolutely huge portion as well. But out of the two of them, they have very similar taste actually. It must be the seasoning in both of them. But yeah, I really like them. It's got a tomato base, salty, and then it's got the cabbage flavor. Mm. Well that was so cool uh, to come into this traditional Polish restaurant. Now we're going to walk around Krakow, work up an appetite because we're all stuffed now and have a look around and then we're going to head to the Christmas market because there's a few street food things like these potato pancakes and Polish sausage that we still have to try and also these weird corn sugar looking things which look really tasty. Just walking through this uh, gate section, it looks so pretty here. Oh, couldn't you out on this courtyard of the castle? Oh, it's the garden, it's the old apartment. I passed a couple of these when we're walking through the streets. It's a little bear shop, but look at the faces on the bears. They look so happy. Oh, look at these ones in the little tiny woolly hats. I think we're gonna sit in here because it looks really cool. This place reminds me of like a yacht or something, like all the leather and the wood and the gold, like a luxury yacht. Very nice vibe in here. I'm gonna have a mulled wine. We're kind of looking around all the cool bars and restaurants and just sitting in. This is a massive thing of mulled wine. What did you get, Dean? Uh, it's called Grog. Uh, spice, rum, lemon, honey, orange, and black tea. Especially for my cold. Yeah, it'll be good for your cold, that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gonna make a drink of one glass of mulled wine? Anyway, we had a lovely time in that restaurant and now we're heading into the Christmas market because there's lots of street food there that we want to try like the Polish sausage there's also these like potato cakes we want to try and even best if it's good live street music. They were epic. Anyway, we're just about to head into the Christmas markets here and get some street food. First stop, sausage. Wow. Look at those huge sausages as well. Park knuckles over there. So we've got pork knuckle, which we actually tried in Germany, but I've never tried it here in Poland. And then we've got Polish sausage. So normally at Christmas markets, you get a bread bun, but you get two slices of bread with this one. So I think I think they've got dollops of mustard on in each one as well. And uh, this Polish sausage is actually massive. Like, look at the size of that. What the heck? 
Oh my god, that is good. It's got super cr like crunchy skin, and then the inside is salty. Delicious goodness. I look at the smoke coming off that because it's fresh off the grill. I think that might be the nicest sausage I've ever had. So this is a pork knuckle. It's kind of just like falling off the bone. Look at that. It's like kind of pink inside, but I think that's fine. Then it's like, it's not a strong mustard. It's like a kind of American style mustard, I think. Quite subtle. Mmm. It's super soft and it's not too salty. I was expecting it to taste like jamon. But it's more like ham, like a hot ham, not too salty, like gammon or anything. But that sausage, best thing I've eaten while in Poland. Next up, we're going to try these traditional potato um, pancakes, I think they're called. And they cook them on the griddle. And then you get toppings like mushroom sauce and stuff. What do you recommend? With um, pork fat, it's very good. That one's pork fat on the end. Oh, thank you. Oh, this smells really interesting. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this one to be honest. So, it smells like. <laughs> so, basically, it's a potato pancake and he had toppings on, and this is pork fat. So, it smells like crackling. Um, I'm not sure what I think about this. It's very oily. Mm. It tastes like flour and potato mashed together and then fried. Just need a topping because it's quite plain. Let's try it with the pork fat. Oh, I don't, I don't know. Don't go in with a negative mindset. I you'll, know, I don't know what I feel. You'll about confirm this your one. biases that way. Okay. So it's very strong, like pork crackling or pork scratchings. Not a fan. Do you know what? It's nice. It tastes like pork scratchings and pork crackling and fat poured over a potato pancake. Wow, really? It, it, <laughs> it's, it. it's very salty and very like, t it's actually quite tasty, but I don't think I could eat a lot of this, literally just swimming in fat. Maybe I should have got a different topping. But it is actually tasty. In the UK, I remember beef dripping on toast being a thing. It's essentially the same sort of thing, but with a potato pancake, I've just flung it everywhere. So it's got that saltiness of the pork fat, and then it drips down into the starchy potato pancake. Um, it is tasty, but I would not eat a lot of it. Matthew agrees with me. Pork fat's nicer by itself than it is with the potato pancake. It's just two squishy textures smothered in oil, so maybe I would skip the pork fat on top, but I can see how the flavours are nice. It's just the textures. It would be nice if there was crunchy bits of pork in there, I think. That would, or crispy bits. But because everything is soft and stodgy, not for me, that one. Uh, Matthew. I thought you didn't like that. <laughs> He's changed his mind. Look at that. Okay, maybe it can grow on you. <laughs> I think it's time for some dessert. These corn like uh, donut things, like in a corn, and he's currently making some now. Ooh, so he's making a fresh dough ball at the back there. I need to wrap it around the post, and then you've got all these toppings that they're then coat it in. Oh, that's mine at the top, all rusting away at the top there. Wow. Oh, yum, rolling it in cinnamon syrup. Nice. It smells so good, it smells like hot cinnamon. This is really warm, fresh out the oven. So it's got a layer of sugar. It's actually not Polish, it's a Hungarian origin. Uh, but I've never seen these before, so. Oh, the Hungarian horn. Yeah, look at that inside. He's like scooped it full of Nutella. This is 25 schlotties. Whoa, look, you can tear it off like this. Mmm, ah. it's crispy. Mmm, mm hmm. Oh my gosh, that's good. I love the cinnamon sugar because it makes it feel Christmassy. But the sugar on the outside of the dough makes it super, super crunchy. So the outside's crispy, then it's got that thin layer of dough, like a donut, and then the hot Nutella. Want that much? No. <laughs> We're fighting over it. So good, isn't it? Hot, crunchy, donut-y goodness. <laughs> so good. <laughs> This is the most enthused about anything I've seen all day. <laughs> We're gonna head off back to the apartment now and I'll see you tomorrow where we'll be hitting up some more food stalls, trying some Polish cheese and some other bits and pieces. <laughs> and <Make me> <laughs>
<laughs> I've probably got chocolate all over my face. Anyway, what a beautiful backdrop, am I right? Oh my gosh. Time to go home and I'll see you tomorrow. stumbled on this cafe here and they took down these little streets honestly you wouldn't know these were here if you didn't come and experiment but look at this look how cool the seats look inside whoa oh my god it's so white and cool inside what the heck how cool is this wow i love the decor in here it's so minimalistic and cool Honestly, it's like the trendiest place like I've ever been. It's honestly so cool when you're walking around and there's like these little tiny side streets and you just wander down them. And because the windows aren't like super huge on some of the buildings, you can't actually see inside and they're just like tucked away and you come inside and it's like it's the coolest thing ever. We just got an iced coffee. Look how nicely this is presented. It's got little coffee beans on top. It's so nice in here. Look at this backdrop. Insta worthy. Our food's just come out. Uh, this is the Polish eggs. It does just look like scrambled eggs, so I'm curious um, to see if it's any different from scrambled eggs. We've got a basket of bread. Dean has got this epic French toast. It's actually tastier, and I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because they've made it really nice and seasoned it. It's got the chives on, but I think it is just normal scrambled eggs. I'm gonna put it on the bread. I think it's just normal scrambled egg, but it's very delicious scrambled egg. I don't know if they made it cream. I just love all the buildings as you're walking around, all the architecture. <laughs> this door's open, I'm not sure if we're allowed in here, but it says college. So I'm going to have a look inside. I wonder if you're allowed to just walk in. Just stumbled upon this. Looks like it used to be an old college. So the main exhibit's closed, but look how cool this looks. Looks like it used to be an old college, but you can come inside and just see this cool courtyard. A little Christmas tree in the middle. We're going to try a little bit more street food and then we're going to head to the airport early because I actually have some business vlogs to edit and upload so we're actually going to go early try and find a place with a plug sit down edit hopefully get some good wi-fi and do some work so cutting it a little short but first of all we're going to go to the christmas markets okay first of all we're going to try the sheep's cheese with bacon they use this griddle to fry it on so i've got the sheep's cheese with bacon we tried the sheep's cheese uh, in the first vlog that we did, or might be in the second vlog. Mm. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. That one's the nicest one yet. It's super salty and the outside's crunchy. It's very salty. It's gorgeous with the bacon. And that was stringy. The one before it, was, it wasn't stringy last time we tried it, so maybe it got cold quick. But this one's fresh and really stringy on the inside. Super salty, but the cranberry sauce does work well with it. We've got a whole stall of pierogies, uh, rusky pierogies, meat filled pierogies over here. I think they might have sweet ones as well. Oh, I might try that. So I've been wanting to try these. I've seen these in a couple of places, but these are sweet pierogies. So it's stuffed with cherry and powder sugar and sour cream. Try one without the sour cream, then one with the sour cream. Mm. Oh my gosh, the hot inside as well. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Okay, now I'm gonna dip it in the sour cream, see if it works in the sour cream. Kind of looks like white chocolate. Dip it in the sour cream. Mm, mm. That is absolutely delicious. The cherry's quite tart, so it's not too, too sweet, but the sugar is perfect. It's also nice with the sour cream if you want it to make it even less sweet, but it's not like too sickly. You could eat like all of these easily. Mm. I really love pierogies anyway, but they are delicious. I wish we had this dessert back in England because I would eat that. Not too sweet, perfect starchiness. Mm. 
delicious. Look at all the birds flying overhead. Whoa! Look at that. I've really enjoyed trying all the delicious Polish food. There's still so much I haven't tried, so I'd love to come back, try some more things. Uh, but we are stuffed. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I really hope you liked this Poland series. If you haven't seen my other Poland vlogs, definitely go check it out. It's been absolutely beautiful here. Please don't forget to leave a like and comment if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to see more videos. I'll see you in the next one. All right then, thanks so much for watching. I love you, goodbye.